so the shading time sometimes the guys should separate all of the huskies with Alaskan Malamut because they get so excited and jealous but look at that their fur is like crazy what you like that just don't get in my face oh yeah you like it don't you good boy good boy whoa what happened to this thing why I fall apart good boy good boy yeah there you go that works too you're gonna probably this shed for a long time but we'll see what happens for like 20 minutes after 20 minutes I'm not gonna make this video for 20 minutes but obviously I'll spend way more time than actually I will make a video of this but as you can see this is pretty good a lot of his fur that is like trying to come out not ready yet so especially over here by the neck is the most you know I, what I cannot believe that is so instantly this thing fell apart I don't know how there's a little screw or something that's so weird so now I kind of have to hold it like that so cheap but yeah, while he's busy with the other dogs on the other side, I can brush him out pretty good. There you go, Hugo gonna wear him out for me and we'll do the brushing again. You see how he gets so excited? <laughs> Doing all the flips and stuff. But for now, I'll put it to the test on a husky. He has a little bit of a different fur and this actually does works a lot better on a husky look at that maybe it's because it's a bit different fur or something but look how much it comes out so different dog different tools i'm telling you guys you know what i'll brush him then for a while <coughs> You like it? You like that? He so loves being brushed. It's like a pet. He's such a good boy. Good boy. Come here, look. Come here. also double coated just like Malamud but if you touch it he feels way different also whenever you brush him they look so much cleaner too because you're brushing out all the dirt from them as well in case they got into the mud okay let's see if the ferminator is any better than that cheap stuff you know what this goes to much much easier oh wow look at that fur coming out ferminator is the best way better than the first one and guess what you just press it on this bottom that's all comes out Yeah, that's a good one. But you don't like it, well, you better get used to it. That's his first time you shedding. <laughs> He's trying to get bees or something. So funny. Yeah, Ferminator by far the best steel dish shedding tool right here. I'll walk on his butt first, looks like. What, you want to get your neck now? Oh boy. You're gonna be shedding a lot, so we need to get rid of all that fur gas. I know you don't like it, but oh well. I know you're shedding so much right now, it's hot. Hot today, isn't it? There you go, get your stomach. <laughs> what kind of pose is that? 
coming out quite a bit is black dog so you can't see it as much as looks but it's way more <laughs> look at that he's like i don't want no more he's like i'm gonna lay down fine you can lay there that's the best way to crush a dog when he's all burned out and tired good boy good boy Oh yeah, that's a spot right here too. Look how much coming out. That's a good one. Stay. Well, looks like I got a carpet down here. This is good enough. The guys went way down by the house. He's like, no more, please, no more. <laughs> you need to start shedding a little bit more once it starts come out even easier. But look, look at this carpet. So if you're still wondering which T-shading tool is the best. Ferminator by far. This is my second year using it, still happy with this. All the other dogs like Brashen because the older, they've been doing it for a while. Gus will get used to it as well. Luke is the most patient though. You guys pretty good too.